Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And with the tip off of basketball season starting just last Friday, there's probably a lot of you out there saying, well, how can I watch this without cable? Or how can I watch this online? And we're going to show you a couple of ways to do it. Starting off is good old ESPN. A lot of set top boxes have the Watch ESPN app. It's a website you can go to on your computer, and it's something that's available on a lot of devices. The reason I bring up Watch ESPN is for two reasons. If you want to watch it online, it's the easiest way to access ESPN content. What you do is get in to watch ESPN, and if you have cable, you sign in with your cable subscription names, depending on where it is in your system. In this case, of on Apple TV, it's under settings, but often it's at the bottom of the menu. You sign in, let them know who you are and that you're a subscriber. All you need is a cable subscription sign-in name and password. So as long as you've got access to a password and sign-in name, you can sign in and watch ESPN Live. ESPN3, what you see up here, is an internet-based program through ESPN and that's available to people whether they have an ESPN subscription through a cable company or not. The thing about that is that there's a whole lot of things that come on live and replay that you can watch. I mean you look right here at a 7 o'clock Elon versus Michigan is going to come on. If your ISP, your internet provider, gives you ESPN3 you can get it and I'm going to provide a list of uh, a link to providers that have ESPN3 and maybe you're lucky enough to live in a place where that exists so that's my uh, my alma mater there East Carolina but so ESPN3 is an option that you should really take a look at if you've got cable already you can watch everything on watch ESPN and even if you don't watch ESPN offers ESPN3 so there is something to explore. Another way to watch sports online is through streaming services from, say, individual college conferences. We have a list of them on the Streaming Advisor website, and I will show you where you find that. You just go onto the streamingadvisor.com and you see the little tab that says Watch Sports. You tap on that, and what this is going to do is pull up a whole list of various sports online options. Some of them are college football conferences. From here, you can go in and click on something. And if you're using a mobile device, it will often link you to an app for it. If you're on your computer, it will go to the website that matches up with it. You see we have one for March Madness Live for when the NCAA tournament comes up. We've got NASCAR and all these college football conferences. So say you want to go to watch the Big 12. There we are. Conferences, there's, you know, there's games. You can go, one, one of the best ones that I've found is the ACC. The ACC app actually allows you to just pay a monthly fee or even just a yearly fee and you get football, you get basketball and all you have to do is have the app. This is something that's available on a lot of different channels on a lot of different devices. Roku, believe it's on Fire TV. You can watch press conferences and things like that. And with the mobile app itself, like for an iPad or an Android device, or even going to the website, theacc.com, you can watch live sports. And this is everything. This is their you know, weekly in, you know basketball, weekly football games. So that's like a really excellent way to access college sports right there. 
but you can explore the different options and you know while you're at it you can look at other options like you know for baseball and everything else you might like but that is a very easy resource that we've put out there and put together for you through the streaming advisor website last but not least in order to watch sports without cable you can always hook up an antenna now I can't guarantee that an antenna will work no matter where you are in fact unfortunately there's some of us in this country who live in valleys or live in heavily wooded areas and there you're going to run into some issues on but if you do not and you live within 50 miles or so of major broadcasters like ABC CBS NBC you're going to be able to get a lot of local and national content right on your TV just like we did back in the 70s and 60s and 80s in the just the days before cable but the thing is is that the new antennas can get really excellent signals HD quality you just got to invest in the right thing uh, unfortunately you can't just run down to Radio Shack if you can find one or you know at a local electronics store and get some dinky little antenna you do have to make an investment that can cost about a hundred dollars but if you live in a heavily wooded area get yourself one that you put up in the attic if you live in a you know an apartment somewhere close to the antennas in general you can get something from something like Mohu M O H U and they'll take care of you pretty good so be on the lookout Amazon sells them Amazon sells their own brand of antennas but I would honestly experiment with that a little bit because if your sport is the NFL all of those games for the most part are on network TV either NBC or Fox or CBS but even for college sports you're always going to have your local teams on local channels but I hope that this was helpful I hope that you found some options that you can invest in take a look at I'm Ryan Downey the streaming advisor please subscribe and stream on my friends